Rachel Donadio for the New York Times, reporting from L'Aquila, Italy, in the Abruzzo region, where more than 100 people are reported dead and more than 1,500 wounded after a major earthquake measuring 6.3 struck early Monday morning. The earthquake struck at 3.30 in the morning local time and could be felt as far as Rome, 95 miles to the west. In downtown L'Aquila on Monday, houses were seriously damaged. I saw a university dormitory of about four stories, one floor crushed down into the others. Groups of anxious onlookers, family members, and other students were camped out outside watching, waiting, hoping for their friends and family to be brought out alive, although many were feared dead in that building. It's unclear how many. I also saw a convent where a whole van load full of very frightened looking nuns still in their bathrobes was being driven away. One of the older nuns had died in the earthquake, the mother superior told me, and the others were very worried. In the historic center of L'Aquila, the church in the Piazza del Duomo, the main piazza, the cupola was very seriously destroyed. It looked like a half-open Easter egg. You could see the decoration on the inside of the dome. Other historic buildings dating from the 17th, 18th century were also seriously destroyed. One whole part of the town named Onna and another called Paganica were said to have suffered very, very serious damage. Recently, when we asked someone how to get to Onna, we were told that that part of town doesn't exist anymore. In the harder hit areas, it was clear that people weren't entirely sure what to do. I talked to one elderly man in the central piazza, and I asked him where he was going, and he said, where am I supposed to go? Where do I go? I live here. Where else do I go? 